Hello and welcome to the Galblade News. Much more local input is needed if the UK's biggest infrastructure products are to deliver their desired socio-economic benefits, MPs have said. Too often consultation with affected communities took place after major decisions had already been taken, the Public Administration Committee said. It called for feedback to be taken into account before funding is given and better data on how success is measured. The government said it was committed to working with local people. In a speech last month, Prime Minister Boris Johnson set out plans to accelerate £5 billion worth of planned spending on transport, broadband, hospitals, school and other areas in response to the economic damage wrought by coronavirus. It comes on top of £640 billion in planned infrastructure spending over the next five years, promised in March's budget as part of the government's levelling up agenda. But in a new report, the cross-party committees said the aims behind the government's plans remained ill-defined and an updated national infrastructure strategy must be published before a penny is spent on new projects. It warned that billions risked being squandered unless prospective uh, pro projects were better coordinated. There was greater transparency over the delivery and clearer benchmarks for their economic and social value. Its recommendations include projects must be uh, preceded by detailed assessments of regional and local needs. Funding should only be approved if findings of local consultations are accepted. Data used to assess uh, performance must be much clearer and publicly available. Project managers could be paid more to recruit people with the right skills. Its chair, the Conservative MP William Ragg, said ministers have to make clear that some post-COVID projects would deliver lower financial returns than traditionally deemed acceptable, but they would still uh, be justified by their wider social impact, particularly in areas that have seen lower levels of spending in recent decades. He said the Treasury's criteria for assessing the merits of individual products must be revised to ensure schemes in the north of England and in rural areas where rates of growth have been historically slower are not neglected. As the nation embarks on a period of significant infrastructure spending, we must focus on how much they deliver the benefits they set out to achieve and were the basis for go, uh, being given the go-ahead, he said. Developing grand infrastructure projects must not become an end in itself. We must move away from a short-term view that measures the value of major projects in terms of whether they are finished on time and at the expected cost. Earlier this year, the government finally gave the go-ahead for the construction of the HS2 rail line due to connect London to Birmingham, Manchester and Leeds after years of delays and amid concerted opposition from people living along the proposed route and environmental campaigners. Other schemes in the government's £450 billion major uh, pounds major products portfolio such as Crossrail have also suffered significant delays and costs over runs uh, while the future of a new runway at Heathrow Airport is in doubt. The report warned against a scattergun approach to the selection of future projects and a rethink over how to engage with local communities. It said too often local consultation begins after fundamental decisions have already been made leading to product delays and infrastructure that neither meets local need nor has full public support. Mr Ragg said the government must learn the lessons of past mistakes and ensure early and meaningful consultation at a local level. It will be critical not just to get local support for infrastructure projects, but getting local input in identifying problems and developing solutions must be better supported, he said. A cabinet office spokesperson said the government is delivering a bold and ambitious portfolio of major projects to support economic growth, decarbonise the economy and underpin the delivery of our public services. We are committed to working with local people partners and across sectors to ensure that all UK citizens benefit from the delivery of infrastructure and major projects. So what do you think of this news? Um, are you happy to see that people are recognising um, that the local community needs to be more involved in some of these decisions? Or do you think this is just um, a load of nonsense that people are they're just saying this just to cover their backs and when they make these decisions you know they'll just go ahead regardless of what the local community um, says about them. Whatever you think, leave your comments down below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe.